Hello. So I am Ankur Bansal and I am here for the subject process dynamics and control and today we will discuss about the basic introduction of the subject. Process dynamics and control. So in this subject first of all we will discuss about the process dynamics part. Process dynamics. Now one and the most important basic misconception about this subject is many of the chemical engineer does not feel this subject as the technical subject. Means many of uh, the engineers say that mass transfer, fluid mechanics, uh, chemical reaction engineering, heat transfer, thermodynamics are the most important and the core subject of the chemical engineering while process dynamics is just like uh, the subject of electrical and instrumentation and it's out of the core but uh, I want to clarify this I want to give a brief introduction about this that no process dynamics is the most important subject and it is the most important core subject also because the knowledge of other subject will help you to apply the material balance to apply the momentum balance but to arrange all the types of equation into a model for that what we require is process dynamics for example let us take an example example of distillation column now in the distillation column we know that there are first of all number of trays feed comes up then there is a reflux drum before the condenser then there is a reflux the top product reboiler and the bottom product now this is the distillation column that is already installed already installed in the industry let's say I want to open my new industry and for that I want to purchase a distillation column so we'll go to a chemical engineer and we'll ask him to design a new distillation column for my project now to design a new distillation column there are basically two options one of the option that is uh, used previously which is on the based on the lab scale that we will set up a pallet plant and in this pallet plant will do certain experiments certain experiments to generate the data experiments and based on these experiments we will collect some data and after collecting the data we will optimize it we will optimize the data so that we can determine the optimal point at which we will design our distillation column now optimal point is what point optimal point is that point at which the cost is minimum and the profit is maximum that is known as optimal point that is lab scale time is required when doing the experiments many errors are there as experiments are carried out and uh, optimization during optimization calculation is required so it is time taking money taking and uh, not error free but on the contrary side the other method is known as modeling and simulation modeling and simulation now what happens in modeling and simulation that first of all there is no need of physical pilot plant what we require is a model now what is a model let us understand this distillation column again that is a physical distillation column but 
what we can do we can apply the material balance equation what we can apply we can apply the heat balance equation what we can apply we can apply the equilibrium relationships and what we can apply we can apply the summation equations so this is the group of equation that we can apply for the distillation column and these are also known as mesh equations material balance equilibrium summation and the enthalpy mass equations and uh, when we have a number of equation let us say there are n number of equations now what will we do we will count the number of variables let's m is the number of variables and number of variables minus number of equation will give us degrees of freedom so what is the ultimate task of a chemical engineer is to nullify the degree of freedom and equalize it to zero for that what I need to do is to increase the number of equation or to define some of the variable define some of the variables so it is very very difficult to increase the number of equation and that's why what we do we define some of the variables like feed is defined to us distill uh, feed mole fraction is defined to us distilled mole fraction defined to us bottom product mole fraction defined to us so these are some of the things that are defined ultimately degree of freedom becomes zero and when it becomes zero then we have a model so that's how we prepare a model and similarly for each and every equation for each and every equipment we can apply a set of mathematical equation which together constitute a model and when we have a model what we do we change input and as we change input what will happen output changes So what do we get? We get a set of values. And this set of values is then optimized to get optimal point. So this is the way of modeling and simulation that we prepare the model by the help of some mathematical equation then we will provide degree of freedom as zero we will define some variables then we change the input to change the output then we get the set of values these values or you can say data points these data points are then optimized now how to optimize very easy just multiply multiply the data points with cost cost data <coughs> cost data that means we know what is the ultimate feed of uh, cost of raw material that is feed what is the selling price of my distillate etc what is the cost of maintaining the temperature what is the steam given to the reboiler what is the heat taken from the condenser etc we know the cost so we multiply the data points with the cost we get the cost data and ultimately the point at which the cost is minimum and the profit is maximum at which at that point we design the distillation column so what do you think now if process dynamics knowledge modeling and simulation knowledge is not there then how to design some equipment to design an equipment we need the optimal point we need to minimize the cost 
we need to maximize the profit and that is possible only when we know how to model when we know how to simulate and when we know the knowledge about the economics part also so chemical engineer is not just the study of uh, fluid mechanics heat mass etc but it also requires the knowledge of modeling and simulation along with the knowledge of economics so that we can convert the raw materials or the raw goods into the finished products at the minimal cost so yes process dynamics is very very important for the chemical engineers and it is the most important subject of ours thank you